One more maximum as we know. Solve this equation about m. 7 to the power of m plus 8 is equal to 8 to the power of m plus 7. Now, 7 to the power of m plus 8. It is 7 to the power of m, then times 7, then times 8. It's the left-hand side. And the right-hand side, 8 to the power of m times 8 to the power of 7. There is a problem. Our problem is actually this m and this m. One is on the left-hand side and the other is on the right-hand side. Now, I must do some changes. Now, I'm going to let the term of m be on the left-hand side and the number be on the right-hand side. What should we do? Of course, we have to divide them by something. But that thing, I don't know. Since 7 to the power of m is on the left-hand side, so ignore. But 8 to the power of m is on the right-hand side. Now we have to divide them, of course, first by 8 to the power of m. 8 to the power of m. And then, 7 to the power of 8 is on the left-hand side. Hmm, that's not okay. So we have to divide it by 7 to the power of 8 on the both-hand sides. But this 8 to the power of 7 is on the right-hand side. It's a number. So we can ignore it. 7 to the power of 8, 7 to the power of 8. Cancel. 8 to the power of m, 8 to the power of m. Cancel. Now, what's on the left-hand side? 7 to the power of m divided by 8 to the power of m. Of course, it can be written as 7 over 8 or 2 power of m. This you should know. The right hand side is 8 to the power of 7 and then divided by 7 to the power of 8. Now our work is to get the logarithms. That is, the logarithms of 7 then divided by 8 all to the power of m is equal to the logarithms of 8 to the power of 7 divided by 8, 7 to the power of 8. Now, I have to use a formula. That is, the logarithms of a to the power of b, it is equal to b times log a. We have to take this m out, put it in front of this log. It is m then times log 7 over 8. The logarithms of 8 to our 7 over 7 to the power of 8. And now I have to use another formula about logarithms. That is, log a over b is equal to log a and then minus log b. So this, log 7 over 8 and log a to the power of 7 divided by 7 to the power of 8 can be simplified. That is, m then times log 7 over 8, it is log 7 then minus log 8. It is equal to log 8 to the power of 7, then minus log 7 to the power of 8. Now this log 8 to the power of 7 and this log 7 to the power of 8 can be continued simplifying. Of course, it is 7 then times log 8 minus 8 times log 7. And now we can get our answer.
Aan is equal to. The numerator is log h over 7, that is 7 times log 8 minus 8 times log 7. And then all divided by log 7 minus log 8. By the way, it is approximately equal to 7.571. Do you get it? And don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos. And we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.